Rahim. This video is about obstetric examination. Prior to examination, we need a warm and private environment. Check the patient's ID. Consider the need for a chaperone and a screen. Wash your hands, preferably ensuring they are warm. Introduce yourself and say what status you hold. Explain why you need to palpate the patient's abdomen. Gain verbal consent. Ensure that the patient has emptied her bladder to avoid discomfort. Position the patient appropriately. Supine position is preferred, but be aware of supine hypotension syndrome. After appropriate patient positioning and exposure, we start our examination by inspection. So inspect the abdomen for shape, size, visible scar marks of previous surgeries, linea nigra, which is a dark line of the skin down the middle of the abdomen of the pregnant woman, stria gravidarum, which are linear purple red lesions on the abdomen of the pregnant lady, fetal movements and the color. Next step is that of the palpation. So palpate the abdomen for fetal growth because gestational age assessment is done by fundal height measurements by doing appropriate palpation. We also do palpation for the fetal parts, the number of the fetuses, the lie, the position, the presentation and engagement of fetal presenting parts. Now we will learn the technique of palpation. Palpate the abdomen using even movements of the flat of the palmar surface of the closed fingers. Aim to maintain hand to skin contact as much as possible rather than taking hands on and off the surface of the abdomen. Do not prod the abdomen or use jerky movements as these are likely to irritate the uterus and stimulate a contraction. Now how to check the fundal height? By using the ulnar border of the hand, palpate the upper border of the uterus. Now, how to measure the symphysiofundal height? Measure the distance in centimeter starting from symphysis pubis to fundus, exclude bias by putting inches side in front. The distance should be correlated with the gestational age plus minus 2 centimeter. How to check the fetal lie? Fetal eye is assessed by four Leopold maneuvers. And those four Leopold maneuvers include first of all the fundal grip, secondly the lateral or umbilical grip, thirdly the pollic grip and fourthly the pelvic grip. Now let us talk about the fundal grip which is the first Leopold maneuver. This maneuver involves palpating the fundus to determine which part of the fetus occupies the fundus. The second maneuver is that of the lateral grip. This maneuver involves palpating either one side or both sides of the abdomen to determine on which side the fetus back lies. The pollic grip is the third Leopold maneuver. The pollic grip involves grasping the presenting parts between the thumb and third fingers just above the symphysis pubis. And the purpose of performing this type of maneuver is to determine what fetal part is lying above the pelvic inlet or lower abdomen. The last one is pelvic grip which is the fourth Leopold maneuver. This maneuver involves palpating for the brow and the occiput of the fetus. The purpose of this maneuver is to determine the fetal position when the fetus is in the vertex presentation. Now coming toward the last step which is assessing the fetal heart rate. The fetal heart rate should be auscultated using fetal stethoscope known as PNOD which is either a wooden or metallic device or a sonicate which is an electronic device. So the chosen device is placed over the baby's back. It's very important to know that the nearer the shoulder, the clearer the fetal heart can be heard. A normal fetal heart rate is between 110 to 160 beats per minute. And along with that, the mother's pulse should be counted separately. Now let us summarize all the steps. First step is that of the inspection in which we check the shape, size, scar, linea nigra, stria gravidarum, fetal movements and color of the abdomen. In palpation of the abdomen, we check the fetal growth, the fetal parts, number of the fetuses, lie of the fetus, position of the fetus, fetal presentation and engagement. 
and in the auscultation we check for the fetal heart rate so thank you so much that was all about obstetric examination subscribe on obstetric gynae allah hafiz